So in this video, we'll talk about the Shores uh, code. So up till now, we have seen how to correct bit flip errors and face fit flip errors separately. Now Shores code corrects both these errors together. And as we have mentioned that uh, any quantum error can be um, written as a linear combination of face flip, bit flip, and a phase and bit flip errors. Therefore, the Shores code corrects uh, all quantum errors. Now, um, let's revise uh, what we did in the bit flip code. So in the bit flip code, um, we have a, a logical bit zero, which we encoded as zero, 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 added some redundancy and one as one, one, one. And so this is the encoding circuit that does that. And then uh, this runs through a quantum channel, which can introduce uh, some errors. And the errors that we try to correct is um, error on any one particular qubit, right? So it cannot, this uh, three qubit code cannot correct two bit errors only one bit errors. Okay, so after it goes through the quantum channel, the errors are introduced. And then we have what is known as the syndrome detection circuit. And the syndrome detection uh, basically measures the parity between the first and the second qubit, which is given by this syndrome, and the first and the third. And depending on the parity, uh, it will be able to detect uh, whether the error has occurred in the first qubit, second qubit, or third qubit, or no error has occurred at all. Now recall that uh, these uh, uh, syndromes so uh, have this property. So they sort of stabilize the elements in the code space. So suppose psi is equal to alpha, 0, 0, 0 plus beta 1, 1, 1, then they stabilize this. So this is, it's an eigenvector of Z1, Z2 with plus one eigenvalue. And uh, if an error occurs, E of psi, so some error occurs, then Z1, Z2, is equal to minus one psi. And similarly for Z1, Z3, right? So what happens is that uh, these two stabilizers, Z1, Z2 and Z1, Z3, so let me just write this down, and Z1, Z2, E psi is equal to, sorry, this will be, plus one, and this will be minus one into psi, z1, z3. So as a result of these, uh, these syndromes will uh, divide the our Hilbert space, right? Our Hilbert space is a uh, eight dimensional space because there are three encoding qubits. So, um, in fact, it divides the space into four subspaces of two dimension each. So, we have our code subspace, which is consists of 0, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1. And then we have the uh, error occurring on the first bit. So, this will be uh, 0, 1, 1. So this will, I'll call this E0 subspace, this is E1. And then E2 will be 0, 1, 0, uh, which is, and 1, 0, 1. So this will be E2 and E3 will be 0, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0. So this will be E3. And uh, Z1, Z2 and 
z1 z3 so the measurement values that you get are plus and minus 1 so that is the where the measurement occurs so this is the measurement and depending on the outcomes of the measurement, uh, we will be able to distinguish whether there was no error or error on the first qubit, second qubit, or third qubit. And that's the way uh, these uh, uh, the three uh, qubit bit flip code corrects errors. Now, um, the, the face flip errors uh, are, are similar. Uh, so in this face flip case, so face flip errors. So in this case, zero gets encoded to plus, 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 and one gets encoded to minus, minus, minus. And uh, the, the circuit looks similar. Uh, so the encoding circuit has some Hadamard gates over here. And then instead of Z1, Z2 operators, uh, uh, we have X1, X2. And instead of Z1, Z3, we have X1, X3. And uh, uh, the errors are corrected by, uh, in the case of bit flip, the errors are corrected by the X gates. In the case of phase flip, the errors will be corrected. So this error recovery over here in the case of bit flip will be done by the X gates and uh, for the phase flip, it will be done by the Z gates. All right, so just to point out that uh, we can generalize this. So this will be, we'll call this first part of our circuit as the encoding circuit, which has N qubits. And these have, uh, uh, so these will be, will be the number of physical qubits. If k is the number of uh, logical qubits, so in this case k is equal to 1, so our bottom circuit will have n minus k bits. And then uh, a code is generally uh, parameterized by these three values, n the number of physical qubits, k is the number of uh, logical qubits and D is the distance of the code. So the distance of the code is the number of uh, um, errors required to change uh, a code word into another, the minimum errors required to change a code word into the uh, into another. For example, in this case, we have uh, the code words are these two. And so the minimum error required to go from one of these code words to the other is, is three, um, right? And D is the, the distance of the code is given by D is equal to two T plus one. So this is called the distance. This is the, so T will be the, um, number of errors that the code corrects. So um, number of errors that the code corrects, right? So in general, we have this NKD code, right? So in this case, the bit flip is a three, one, three code. Right, so um, now let's talk about the Shores code. So the Shores code is a, a code which uh, is a nine qubit code and it's a nine one three code. So nine is the number of physical qubits. One is the number of logical qubits. And three is the distance of the code. And uh, so the coding scheme is the following. Um, so we first go from uh, zero goes to plus, plus, plus. One goes to minus, minus. That's the first stage of the coding scheme. 
and then uh, so this is like a a phase flip scheme and then the next stage it concatenate concatenates this into a bit flip scheme so this plus will go to 0 0 0 plus will go to 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 over square root of 2 the second plus again will go to uh, 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 over square root of 2 and 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 over square root of 2 and uh, the uh, the one will first go to minus 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 and then again with the bit flip scheme this will go to 0 0 0 minus 1 1 1 1 over square root of 2 so this is 1 1 1 and then you repeat over here so this will be 0 0 0 minus 1 1 1 over square root of 2 tensor 0 0 0 minus 1 1 1 over square root of 2 right so this will be the nine bits required to do the encoding and i have shown the encoding circuit over here so i have just shown the encoding circuit for the zero so you have this first stage where you have uh, the phase flip and then the bit flip in the second stage so it's easy to check that this actually generates the code all right, so then the next is um, uh, some errors get introduced and we can introduce two types of errors. In this case, it will either be a bit flip on any of the nine qubits. Um, so errors of the type x1, x2, x3, x4, x9. And we also can introduce a phase flip er error. We can also introduce a bit flip and a phase flip at the same time but we cannot, this code cannot correct more than one bit flip or more than one phase flip errors. So what is the syndrome detection look like? So uh, for the bit flip errors, uh, the syndrome detectors are similar. So for the first three set of qubits, we have Z1, Z2 and Z1, Z3 for the first three qubits, just like before. And then for the fourth to the sixth, it is Z4, Z5, and then Z4, Z6. And then from uh, seven to nine, you have Z7, Z8, and Z7, Z9. Okay, so that uh, will work similar to the bit flip code. And these syndrome detectors will um, detect the bit flip errors. So uh, these this set, for example, will detect the syndrome on the first three uh, qubits, and these three uh, these two syndrome detectors will be detecting the the syndrome error on the uh, fourth to sixth qubits. And this will be the last three qubits. Okay, so we have already one, two, three, four, five, six syndrome detectors, but we also need to um, detect the phase errors. Now, what is interesting to note is that uh, if there is a phase error in any of the first three qubits, right? Um, you will get the same result in the sense that if a phase error occur occurs on any of the first three qubits, you will get this will get transformed to 0, 0, 0 minus 1, 1, 1 over square root of 2. Right? Or if the uh, phase error occurs on any of the um, fourth through the sixth qubits, then um, uh, this will get transformed to 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 1 over square root of 2. So the syndrome detector corresponding to the phase errors are, are these two. So uh, we have x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, and which will correspond to, to this in the case of bit flips. But since uh, any of the first 
uh, a, a phase error occurring on any of the first three qubits result in the same sort of transformation, uh, then we need this uh, syndrome detector and uh, to, to distinguish whether the phase error has occurred on the, the first two sets of three qubits or the second two sets of uh, qubits, we will have this as the x7, uh, x8, x9 as the final uh, syndrome detector. So there will be eight syndrome detectors and the source code is a 9, 1, 3 code. So nine physical qubits, one logical qubit, and D is the distance of the code. So why is the distance three? Because if I have three phase errors, then the, the zero logical bit goes to the one logical bits, right? If I have an error either on one of the first three or the one of the, and one of the um, second set or the third set, then we, uh, we get transformed from the zero logical bit to the one logical bit. So it's a 913 code and it corrects uh, one uh, phase flip or, or bit flip error. And so this is the, the circuit that we have. So we have the encoding circuit, which we have uh, uh, over here. And then it passes through some quantum channel, which introduces as errors. And here are the syndrome detectors. So this will be nine. And this will be the number of syndrome detectors. So it will be nine minus one, which is equal to eight. And uh, so the syndrome errors will, uh, using the syndrome measurement, we'll be able to distinguish whether there was a bit flip error and which bit was flipped and whether there was a phase flip error and which set the first three, the four to six or seven to nine was flipped. And this uh, is uh, the, the first code that was um, made to correct all qu possible quantum errors. But this is not the most optimal code. In fact, there is a five qubit code that corrects uh, uh, both phase flip and bit flip errors. So that's uh, what we uh, uh, have learned about the Shor's code. Next, we we'll learn about a very interesting concept, which is called the threshold theorem in uh, error correction.